Today we will be checking out a new large language model that came out of China. Today we will talk about Kimi.ai, we are going to try this out. This is not very famous because Dipsic also came out at the same time and you know Dipsic really has made headlines, it even caused a general crash in the US stock market. But Kimi AI is also a very good alternative that is not right now at least natively, natively using English, but they're doing loads of updates. It has big context, so it's up to 128,000 tokens. And on benchmarks, what we can see over here is that Kimi has this blue bar and it's beating 01, 01 mini uh, in various tasks. So that's very big. And here you can see even more benchmarks. And the difference is pretty huge, at least compared to open source models or simple models like 4.0 and Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. This is my first time typing and because I don't have an account, I'm quite restricted. So I'm really waiting for the team to bring forward more updates. So before we begin, I want to tell you that guys, if you like these kind of videos, make sure to support the channel by clicking the link down below. This is my personal website where we create a lot of uh, tools through the tutorials and we have them there available so if you want to support the channel make sure to visit the website try the things we have made we made a huge release you can try for example pomodoro so let's go and check out kimi ai so first of all here is the artifacts link but it requires you to put your phone number scan this qr code or something like that it's like kyc same with these pngs and you know you are pretty restricted with the free version here is probably internet search so i'm going to go ahead and type i want a list of viral and simple to implement applications that only require a front all right so let's see what the result of this will be so i ask it for a viral and simple to implement list of applications that i can implement using only front-end development and it starts to answer in Chinese, which is really funny. I find this really, really funny. I have no idea what these articles are over here. Find it really strange, but we will have to tell it to turn it into English, really. I also click the stop button. So, all right, answer development, answer in English. And for some people already the English version of the chat has rolled out, but for me, I have yet to see a result that is indeed in English. However, if you come into their, uh, you know, uh, X posts, you can see that they have natively these uh, English lists. Probably you may have to sign up or something like that. But again, it's very early phase and we're just going to check out this model because as you know in the previous videos I have been making this question loads of times. By clicking this button you have web search available. I really want to try the artifacts and all of the other things. So we have this weather application. This is quite new. This is quite new. I didn't have other people, other LLMs actually uh, give me this idea which is very simple to use. Calculator application, we got it, all right. It doesn't really matter. The do list application, okay. Uh, this is something that loads of LLMs have proposed. Quiz app, again, same. Music player, that's interesting as well. Uh, drawing application, okay, this is interesting as well. Maybe some drawing would be interesting. I have implemented a whiteboard, actually. Personal blog website, okay, I really like this. YouTube clone. Mm, not that great of an idea because it needs a backend. Recipe book application, that makes sense. Image gallery, uh, it needs also a backend. Meme generator, I have implemented this, put it up into the web page down below, no effects. Color picker application. All right, this is interesting and probably simple. All right, so let's ask it to 
uh, you know, implement this application, this application in Next.js 14 using only types script and tailwind css all right so i'm really excited to see future versions of this tool i will cover it again in the future uh, if you are looking for free llms free mod generators make sure to go ahead and watch my previous videos so let's see I'm going to just give it an overview. I'm not going to run the code or maybe I should run it on Replit. Maybe I should actually. Okay, so let's see what the result is, what it has created for us. So it says run this thing on Bash to create this project. Okay, you want to install these things over here. I guess we're okay with that. All right, so I'm using Replit right now to, you know, give give this code a try. Maybe it will work, maybe it won't, but it doesn't matter to me that much right now. I just want to see if we can run this code. Cannot determine executable to run, okay? So this is a kind of error. This is the thing that we want added into Tailwing. Okay, so we want uh, this to be like that, all right. We want to add these things in global.css. So over here, we want to add these things, all right. Set up already. Create a new file, color picker in the components, okay. So uh, here you want like probably, um, I don't know, maybe a components folder, add folder, components. Maybe, maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, so we want to create this color picker, color picker, tsx file, paste the code over here, okay, and on the pages index tsx, we want to import it. So this is it, all right, control c, control paste, okay, so npm run dev, let's try it out npm run dev uh, run dev okay so let's see what our application is if the color picker indeed works or it just failed but i really like replit because you can do these things very easily online without messing up your local environment i really love it um but you know if you want to see other code editors or tools like Replit, make sure to tell me down below in the comments. So CSS loader, uh, rule, there's this kind of error. Post CSS, configuration, delete it, click the run button. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe that's wrong, but all right. There's, it looks like you try to use Tailwind directly as a post CSS plugin. So to continue using, you need to install. Okay, okay, so npx install. Okay, so this VM is super slow that, and it makes, you know, running code so much harder. It, it's making it super slow. So I'm going to run the command that it tells me over here. Then I'm going to run dev. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. But still, I think the result is good. I think it done exactly what it should have done, so it works. Um, selected color. Oh, and the color is changing. So here you can see the selected color. Right, so um, beautify page, center, uh, components, and make sure to add how to tutorial below, bef before the components. Okay, so I'm going to ask it to enhance this, uh, you know, code and tool, make it better. Um, so we want a better UI and we want, okay, we want a better UI and we also want a how-to section that is going to give us better um, SEO optimization. So let's see if it can come up with it, fix it, improve it. That would be very exciting, in all honesty. I really want to see what the result will be. And I really liked the answers it gave me through uh, through the search. I think they were absolutely astonishingly great. So this is the tutorial section. Okay, so we want probably this thing to be added. Okay, so we want to go into the index. You need to know, you need to know a little bit of coding for these kind of things. So it's going to be pages slash, you know, just go to components. Okay, so this is the correct path. You need to know how to fix the paths on these kind of applications, but it's nothing very hard. You just need to know basic, uh, basic code. 
you need basic coding skill. Six months of fast-paced coding and you will be super okay. Okay, so this is the results. How to use, click on the button input field. Very, very nice. No, this is very nice. Nothing extraordinary, um, but this is a simple page to create and it did quite okay. Let me see if I can actually, I can actually share this chat but I need to have an account. Okay, so this is this is interesting. This is interesting. Like, we've got these applications like weather calculator to-do list. Drawing application is very nice. Um, recipe book also nice. And also this color picker up. Really like it. So uh, give me super unique items. They don't have to be super viral. Okay, so I'm going to do one more prompt and we got limited probably. I think we got limited on our generations, which is totally fine. It's totally fine because we already generate a lot of things. This is Kimi. I'm waiting for huge updates from them to find the improvements.